Hello everyone and welcome to Soul Standing. My name is Beth and I am here with a Weekend Reads video and I'm going to try to make it super short. Um, this will be the fourth time I've recorded it. The other three times I ended up chatting a little bit too much and it's like eight to ten minute videos and I'm trying to keep my videos a little bit shorter. Um, I don't know. I don't know how that's possible but you know. Anyway, moving on, I've already chatted for 30 seconds and I haven't mentioned the books. So I have three, well, four books that I am working on this weekend. The only physical copy I have to show you is this one, which is The Girl and the Witch's Garden by Erin Bowman. Um, this book has been on multiples of my TBRs. I'm on chapter three. If I can't get into this book, I'm going to wind up having to DNF it, but I don't want to do that. So I'm trying super hard. Also, I am sorry about my voice coming in and out like this. Um, I thought that I was better, and then, you know, we went to the football game last night and stayed for the whole thing, and we won because my kids are amazing and wonderful. However, sometimes teachers are those kids' families, and I had a few kids who needed me to stay for the whole game and give them encouragement because their family did not come to watch them play and or cheer or their family was there but are not very supportive. Uh, so we ended up staying the whole night and I woke up in several coughing fits uh, trying to sleep. I just, I couldn't get comfortable. Kept waking up with coughing fits and my voice has gone back to sounding like this. So I do apologize. However, if you are someone in the community or a teacher or extended family member who goes to games it encourages all the kids and is that kind of pseudo family for them. You're the real OG. You're amazing and I love you for it. Thank you. Our kids need that. Moving on, the other books I'm reading are for school and I do not have a physical copy of, well I have a physical copy of one of them but I'm not going to use it and it's at the school and I'm too lazy to go get it anyway. So there, there is that. But I'm still working on my third read through slash first complete read through of the full novel of P.G. Wodehouse's The Code of the Woosters. If you'll recall, I uh, listened to a radio version and an edited annotated version, um, which are hilarious and amazing. But since it's for a master's class, I thought I would try to read the actual full length novel and you know, I'm about halfway through at this point, and I'm loving it. There's not a whole bunch of difference between the annotated version and this one, uh, but I'm glad I'm rereading it just because it's still making me giggle. And that is for my British comic novels class. And then for my uh, medieval and early modern fantasy course, uh, the next book we are reading is Beowulf. And I've read it like eight times, so I'm not really concerned about not knowing the information. Uh, but I thought I would go ahead and listen to the J.R. Tolkien translation on audiobook, just because I love Beowulf, and Tolkien's is my favorite translation. And I probably need to brush up on it. Uh, my students, well, not my students, I was watching the seniors for uh, the senior English teacher the other day while she had to be in a meeting. And they had just read Beowulf and were discussing it. And I really enjoyed having that chat. So I was like, yeah, I'm definitely going to go ahead and reread this again. A re 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 read of Beowulf uh, because it's fabulous. But then the book I really need to concentrate on is for my Black Lives Matter movement mixtape class, which is. Uh, actually called like major figures in American literature and last week we read Native Son by Richard Wright if any of you have read that I would love to know your thoughts on it because I have a feeling that my classmates are a little concerned about me because I didn't react to it the way they did uh, however we read that last week and this week's novel is actually Richard Wright's memoir called Black Boy and I'm only through chapter one now, to be fair, chapter one was like an hour and 20 minutes on the audio. So, you know, that's a long chapter. But I'm definitely 
connecting more with this one than I did with Native Sun. So I've got to get that read by Tuesday, and then we'll see if I can get Beowulf in before our class discussion. Uh, but that's all I've got to talk to you guys about. If you would like for me to do a kind of mini review chat on any of the books I am reading for school, please let me know. I will attempt to film a week two of my master's courses video for you sometime this weekend and, you know, kind of let you know how last week went. Uh, but if you have any specific questions, leave them in the comment section down below and I will talk to you all again very soon. I hope you have an amazing weekend. Stay safe.